Hi there, my name's Ken Fisher and I'm a photographer and an Adobe Certified Trainer in Photoshop and in Lightroom. Now there is an incredibly creative craze at the moment called twirling. And this involves taking one of any of your images and turning them into beautiful, unique artwork by using filters and blend modes. Now these videos are not about how to twirl, that's covered in some other of my videos. This series is, is to get you prepared for twirling by teaching you a few basic Photoshop techniques that you'll need to make your twirls twirlicious. And then you can concentrate on just letting your creative juices flow. Now in this video we're going to look at layers and how to use them. So okay, let's get started. Now all the action happens in the layers panel, which is here. Now if this isn't on and you can't see it, it lives in the window menu under layers. So if it's not switched on and you can't see it, if you go up to window and down to layers, it'll bring it on for you. Now what might you want to do with a layer? Well, you might want to duplicate it. So what we can do, we can go into the layer and we can right click and select duplicate layer. Or there's a nice little keyboard shortcut of Control and J, which will duplicate the layer for you. Now, what if we want to delete a layer? Well, that's very similar. We can go up to the layer and we can right click on it and select delete layer. It'll ask if, you, if you're sure that's what you want to do and you click yes. Now, we'll just undo that. And undo is really useful. If you make a mistake and you think, oh, I wish I hadn't done that, then Control and Z will undo the last thing you did. So I deleted that layer, so I've just now undeleted it. And now, if you want, we can delete that layer another way by pressing the Delete key or the Backspace key if you're on a PC on your keyboard. And that deletes the layer as well. Again, I'll undelete that again. And just show you a third way of deleting a layer, which is my favourite. And I drag it and you drop it over the trash can, which is down at this bottom corner. And that deletes the layer as well. Now you might want to, to make a, a new empty layer to put something on. So to do that, we go down to the bottom of the layers panel and we've got this little icon here. And if I click on that, I make a brand new empty layer. Or there's a keyboard shortcut of Shift, Control and N. And that says, do you want to make a new layer? Yes, I do. So now I've got two layers on top of my background layer, this one, the one that I started with. Now you may want to change the order of the layers. Well, here we can see that I've got layer one, layer two, and the, the base layer is layer zero. So let's say I want to put layer one underneath. Then I've got to click on it and drag it until I see that little white line appear. Can you see that little line appear? Once that happens, I can drag it underneath. So if I want layer two to be underneath, I can click on that layer, click and drag it and drop it underneath. Now a special type of layer that you might come across when you first open an image is the background layer. And I'll just show you that. I'll just make one out of this. And you can see the background layer has got a little padlock on it. And that means it's the bottom layer. Whatever that padlock's on, you can't put anything underneath it. So if I try and drag things underneath there, they won't go. If I want that to turn it into a normal layer, what I've got to do is get rid of the padlock. And an easy way of doing that is to just click on it and drag it and drop it in the bin. And then we're back to being a normal old layer. Now you need to know which is what's called the active layer. This is where all the good stuff happens. So if I'm doing anything on this layer, applying a filter to it or anything, it's going to be the active layer. And the active layer is like this. It's a different color. So at the moment, layer naught is the active layer. If I go up and click on layer two, layer two is the active layer. Up to layer one, 
and layer one is the active layer and it, it's it's a good practice to keep an eye open in this panel here in the layers panel of which is the active layer so you don't accidentally do something on the wrong layer so if i'm going to do something now and apply a filter say to the to the bottom layer to layer not i've got to click on it first to make sure it's active now and finally there's visibility we can have layers that are visible or not visible now this layer for instance we can see it here and we can see it in the layers panel but there's a little eye here and this is the visibility eye and if I click on that it turns off the visibility of the layer and if I go back turn it back on it turns the visibility back on again so that's the basic stuff that you will need to know about layers if you want to know more please check out my website kenfisherphotography.com or visit my YouTube channel, Live Link Training. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.